I couldn't help but feel like something else was going on here. Yeah, man, me too. It's kind of like we on a date or something. And that's when it hit me. All the signs pointed in one direction. And that direction was filled with all the colors of the rainbow. In 2023, it feels like there's a huge gap between the women and the men. It's really unfortunate. It almost feels like the alpha male coalition is at war with the feminists. And honestly, there's a lot of different reasons behind it. But for this particular video, I want to circle in on the fact that some women seem to have this agenda to expose men for virtually nothing. I know you guys seen those gym videos of girls purposely doing the most and just dying for some guy to look in her direction. Just to catch them on camera and expose them for being a creep because he has eyeballs. Maybe he wasn't looking at your voluptuous booty and was just genuinely trying to figure out why you were staring at him with a camera in his face. I'm just saying, not all guys are horny meatheads. Some people are just trying to get their work out in. With that being said, for my women out there that have truly been harassed by men, forced into situations you were uncomfortable in, unfortunately, I feel your pain. I too have been harassed by a man. This story takes place back in 2018. Back then I was working out more often. I don't know why I stopped, but let's just say I had a gym phase. I was trying to get swole for the ladies and it wasn't working at all. But one day after working out, me and Wyatt decided to play some pickup basketball. And I kind of enjoy playing basketball even though I sucked. And I'm talking terrible. I probably got like three good dribbles in me before I'm hitting the ball off my feet. I could probably give Shaquille O'Neal a run for his money for worst shooter ever. I'm that bad. So when I play, my goal is to just make sure who I'm guarding doesn't score. And it works! So after running a few games, one of the dudes I was playing with, let's just call him Wilson, walked up to me and invited me to a hoop sesh. There's stuff out there today. You play ball often? Uh, k kinda, ish. Man, I was impressed. I just wanted to invite you to this open gym on Saturday. We're gonna have some good runs with some of my boys if you wanna slide. All I could think in my head was, damn, I really tricked this man into thinking I was good at basketball. My impersonation of a basketball player is immaculate. So to keep up my hoop dream nigga facade, I said, yeah, yeah, for sure. We exchanged numbers and he sent me the info. And I left knowing damn well I wasn't going. Ain't no way I'm about to expose myself for being trash. Eventually, Saturday came along and he called me asking if I was gonna pull up. I told him some random BS reason why I couldn't go. And that's when he told me. It's all good, bro. But I, I peeped you've been putting out music. That's pretty cool. Yeah, thanks, I appreciate it. This is, uh, this is a little off topic, but I, I've been writing some stuff myself. Uh, not to be weird or anything, but you mind checking it out? Oh yeah, for sure, bro, just send it over. I'd love to see what you cooking. So we get off the phone, and I don't know why, but I thought this man was going to send me some music. But I was surprised to see he sent me poems. I'm talking to be or not to be type shit. Now just out of respect, I'm not going to read his poems because I don't want to put anyone else's art out there that was sent privately. But there was this one part that caught my attention and it said, don't be ashamed of your truth. Hmm. I wonder what he means by that. Does he know I'm a fake baller? Probably not. Now after reading very literally the longest poem I have ever seen in my life, I can honestly say them shits sucked. But he did say he just started, so I was sure he would get better. <laughs> Hopefully. But I didn't have the energy to lie to this nigga. So I didn't respond and just kept it pushing. I wasn't close with this guy. He was just some random nigga I met at the gym. So I didn't think much of it. So I was kind of surprised when a couple days later, I got a random text from Wilson. Oh my God, if this guy sends me another poem. He was saying that him and a couple of his homies were about to go watch a movie, Superfly. And even though I was kind of thrown off by this guy wanting to hang out with me so bad, I actually did want to see the movie. Wilson seems like a cool guy, genuine, I think. And his friends are probably cool, hopefully. Ah, fucking, I'm not doing anything anyway. And tell me why I pulled up to the movie theater mad confused when I saw him standing at the front all by himself. Yo, what's good, bro? Yo, what's up? Uh, where's everyone? 
Yeah, everyone flaked, so it's just you and me tonight. Uh, is that okay? Oh, okay, that makes sense. Yeah, man, it's whatever. I'm not even tripping. I just really wanted to see this movie for real. Yeah, man, me too. It's kind of like we on a date or something. <laughs> Pause. <laughs> <laughs> That was a good one, right? I, I'm just pulling your third leg. We just two bros about to get down together. Uh, yeah, I guess. Let's just go buy the tickets. Obviously, I laughed it off, but this is when I started to feel a different type of vibe from Wilson. I know you shouldn't judge people, and I genuinely wasn't trying to, but all of a sudden, I couldn't help but feel like something else was going on here. But I didn't listen to my gut, and I was not about to judge this guy off of one weird comment. Even though it was a really weird comment. I'm a guy and I've said some questionable jokes before. We all have. Yeah, right? This guy just has a questionable sense of humor. <laughs> Ain't nothing wrong with that. So we're watching the movie and I wanted to say it was good, but I really couldn't enjoy that shit because every two seconds, this man kept trying to talk to me with his hot ass breath just all in my face. Dude was explaining every scene to me as if I didn't just watch that shit. Bro, I'm sitting right here with you. I saw everything that happened. But what was really bothering me, it's like his face was getting closer to mine. <sighs> Did you see that part? I like that part. You, you want some popcorn? What is with this guy? Nobody ever taught this nigga about personal space? The movie finally finished. And I was saying bye to this man. I put my hand out to dap him up. And Wilson hugged me. And I'm not talking about one of them dap up back tap hugs that you give to your homies. I'm talking hugging your girl goodbye type of hug. I pushed this man off me so fast. I'm sorry, man. Uh, you, you good? Yeah, man. My, my mom just texted me and I just got to go, bro. I'm on my way home and I think to myself that that might have been the weirdest interaction I've ever had with another man. Why was this guy so persistent in trying to hang out with me? And why the hell was he leaning on me damn near the whole movie? And then he hugged me goodbye? And for those of you watching, I'm assuming you're already reading the sign, but I just couldn't believe it. Ain't no way in hell some dude was looking at me and thought I got down like that. Like, ain't nothing wrong with getting down like that, but I don't get down like that. So my brain couldn't comprehend the possibility someone looking at me thinking I got down like that. That wasn't possible. Or so I thought. A week later, Wilson hit me up again and said, Hey, uh, I was wondering if you want to go to another movie with me. I hope you say yes. With this emoji. And that's when it hit me. All the signs pointed in one direction. And that direction was filled with all the colors of the rainbow. That's when I realized Wilson wasn't a weirdo. Wilson was playing for the other team. I was tricked, bamboozled, swindled. He was a wolf in sheep's clothing. Wilson really tried to reverse psychology riz me up. Mans told me we were going to hang out with the boys. Just to find out he wanted me to be his boy toy. All I could think to myself was, damn, this how it feels to be a woman? I literally was finessed into a situation where I didn't feel comfortable and chose to give the guy the benefit of the doubt. The fact that he wasn't straight up about his intentions from the beginning genuinely pissed me off. He could have asked me if I got down like that and I would have told him I don't get down like that. But he didn't give me the chance. That day at the basketball court, I wasn't playing good defense. Wilson was pushing up on me and having his way with me. Then finessed my number and even sent me a poem. A damn haiku about love, bruh. At the movies, he wasn't talking in my face. He was trying to kiss me or something. I never responded to Wilson again after that. I have no problem with people that play for the other team. I have friends that play for the other team. Wow, I really sound like the white people that say, I'm not racist, I have black friends. But all I'm saying is, as long as they don't try anything on me, we're good. But he crossed that line, and I didn't even know. And now I have to live for the rest of my life knowing that if someone ever asked me if I've ever been on a date with a man, technically, I have to say yes. 